Hello? Hey, Michael? Yes. Hey, this is Ricky with Savannah Properties. How's it going? How are you, Ricky? Good. Hey, doing well. I was just uh, giving you a call about the property over in Jersey City. Yeah, on Lewis Ave? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, just wanted to see how we could help out. Well, looking to, to sell it. Uh, just calling up, you know, a few different people to try to get prices and, you know, and see where we're at with everything. Um, it, my stepfather just died, so the property is vacant, but it's a knockdown, just so you know. Okay. I mean, so is everything in Jersey City, right? <laughs> it's true. I really, that's what they're doing. They're just buying them and knocking them down and building those three, four story, you know. That's, what, that's all that's going on in Jersey City now. Yeah. Yeah, no, it definitely is. Are, are you the power of attorney, or is the property already in your name? Well, so, I, I'm an executor, but um, the the way it works is, it was my stepfather, so there's uh, three bloodlines that they're doing it for them. I'm just looking for somebody because they need my help doing this. So, they'll be the ones that are actually signing the documents uh, when the time comes, but I'm trying to set everything up. Because I live in Jersey, they live in Pennsylvania and stuff like that, so. Okay, so, so you're just pretty local then, to Jersey City? Yeah. Yep. Got it. I'm in Pompton Lakes. I'm from Jersey City. And, and honestly, well, I don't want to sound strong, but yeah, they would have trouble doing it. Let's just put it that way. Uh, I hear you. Have, have you guys thought about maybe like listing it on the market or do you think you'd rather kind of just do an off market cash deal? No, off market cash deal. Just uh, the only reason is, first of all, I want to pay realtor fees. That's why I was looking for a broker. Uh, uh, a developer, right? So I should want to pay a develop uh, a realtor five percent. Yeah, and it's just a knockdown. And right. it's a main difference. So many developers out there just looking for properties that you know. If if I was selling, if it's my house and I'm looking to sell it for somebody to move in, yeah, I probably would use a realtor. You know. Hmm. Uh, but for something like this, no. Yeah, not totally. And I know, yeah, Jersey City, man. We we buy there. We do some developing over there, but it's it's definitely. You know, block by block, and numbers are changing fast, especially in this current market. Um, kind of hard to hard to predict. But do you have any idea of what what you guys might be looking to get for the property if you're looking for a sale like this? Well, we're on Zillow looked at the price, so we're looking at four twenty five. Okay. Have you had uh, any other guys like me that have already checked out the property and walked it and made you some offers? Well, I just started making calls today. Okay, so today is kind of when you first. Mm-hmm. Start making some moves. Getting calls back. That's why when I seen the number, yep. I didn't recognize it, but I figured it was one of them. I must have called ten different people to be honest with you, and just left messages on every one of them. Okay. So probably it sounds like you're looking to probably get like a, a handful of guys like us into the property, and just kind of go with the, the best highest offer. Yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much it. I uh, I have to imagine right uh, that. Everybody's going to be in the same ballpark. That's what I'm thinking. You know, it's not like uh, my ex is selling the house up on uh, Lake Street. She's getting six fifty for it, right? Yeah, that's a different location and a little bit bigger property. But uh, and that's a knockdown too. But I have to imagine everybody's going to come in around the same area. So uh, just wanted to look at get, get rid of it. But I mean, if somebody tells me three fifty and the other one's saying four fifty, well, you know where I'm going, right? Right. If, uh, if, somebody's, if I'm hearing 420, 422, 424, 420, you know, they, we're, we're, just let's get it going. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. Oh, what if all the guys came back and they were at 250? If they were at 250? I'm going to hang on to it my damn self and then, you know what I mean? Try to do something with it myself. I'm not going to okay. put something there. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it, it's tough right now. I mean, what's going on in the market, it's much easier for us mm-hmm. to, to, uh, Try to put a value in an offer price on something that's going to be a three-week cosmetic rehab compared to these teardowns right now, not knowing where the market's heading over, you know, the next six to twelve months. But you know, it's definitely been on the downturn. We had a bunch of flips that we thought we were going to make a hundred on that we're breaking even on. We had some development projects we thought we were going to do really well on. We're losing money on. So tough times, but well, that's why I, the, the price point that I said, yeah, was accounting for all that i was taking that into account like i said you know that the property a year ago probably was six on the 550 <clears throat> sure so I, I am taking into account the climate and the and interest rates and you know but i'm also taking into account the jersey city and uh you know it's the highest rent district in the whole in the whole country yeah and you know so they're getting the rents for anybody that develops it and they're also getting you know the, the being developed and they're throwing those three three floor things condos and 
you're making a fortune that way on some of the stuff. I can see where you could take some loss if you're, you know, you're spending seven, eight, and you know, and you you put in another four to build something, five to build something, and then you know, whatever you're spending. But uh, but I'm talking numbers like I'm talking. Eh, I don't see where that uh, anybody's going to get hurt. Yeah, now you're. Yeah. I'll have to, obviously, I, I want to give you a call first. I haven't, like, ran detailed numbers on it or, or anything. Just kind of want to get a feel of where you were at. Do you, uh, how soon would you like to go under contract on this? I could do it immediately. Okay. I could do it immediately, or I could wait. But immediately better, you know. And my, my mom brother's living in the property, you know, but he knows he's going to be leaving, you know, getting out, but... And if I told him, you know, it's going to be immediate, then that's what it will be. If I told him you're going to be there in the next another couple of months, that's what it's going to be, too. Yeah. Because it actually it came out October, so he's been staying there since October. Now everybody kind of got together and, you know, it was just saying, all right, time to get rid of it. So I said, all right, I'll make some phone calls. Yeah, start making moves on it. I hear you. Yeah. Besides price, anything else in the offer that you guys are looking for? Well, it'd be nice if we could, could do some cash up front, you know, like maybe five, ten thousand up front. Uh, we could take that, get my brother that to move out with, you know, that kind of thing. But if not, it is what it is. Yeah. And do you guys, uh, your your family, do you own it free and clear, or is there a mortgage? It's free and clear. Okay. No, no mortgage, no nothing like that. No. Have you guys thought about possibly if if a cash offer didn't make sense of selling it at a higher price on terms? Which terms? So, like, let's say if I might be only, I haven't ran the numbers, right? Just hypothetically speaking, if I ran the numbers, my cash number, my cash offer is always going to be my lowest, right? Because it's giving you the best terms. If I'm like, hey, I'll give you cash two weeks. So, if that number came back at 300, but, um, and maybe that doesn't work for you, but I went, hey, I could give you, you know, 375 or 400K if you become the bank. You know, maybe I only put five or ten k down to you, and then you collect payments over the next however many years we agree to. You know, you'd kind of just become the nah, bank in that situation. Definitely not that. There's, there's too much. Nah, nah, nah. You have too many hands there, and too much stuff. Yeah, too many family yeah, members. Not. Too much okay. drama. If it was just me, I'd probably say, why not? It's like a little, you know, little income coming down the side, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Some people me, prefer so. that. Yeah, but I understand if a bunch of family members are involved. Probably just quick cash, divide it up, and just be done with it. Just trying to flip it, get it over with, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I totally hear you there. Okay. Um, do you, have you, uh, I, know, I know you said you just started getting some calls back, but have you had any offers yet on the property? Or No, you're actually the first one I called. I just, oh. I was just <laughs> calling like an hour ago. I just was calling and then made myself a cup of coffee, and then all of a sudden I'm messing with the TV, and the phone rang, and I said, this is probably one of the callbacks. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm I'm definitely interested in it. Getting answer machines everywhere. So oh, right. everybody's <laughs> working and doing their thing. Yeah, yeah, I think you just filled out a form on our website. Yeah, that was it. I had one or two that I did that with too. Okay. But there were some local ones in Jersey City. A lot of them went down the, the downtown, and then I seen some on Summit Avenue. You know, and I was just leaving messages in those places. Yeah, we're pretty wide, but you know, we we will buy up north. Like we're kind of like North Central Jersey buyers. So we we do a lot of business just kind of all around Jersey, but you know we're we're some local guys. I grew up in Freehold. My partner lives up uh -huh. over in Robbinsville, right? So yeah, we're we're just looking to you know take on any any projects that kind of make sense right now. All right. Well, I mean, you have to be familiar with the market in Jersey City. I mean, it's yeah, of course, it's market probably well, in this area. I don't think there's anywhere hotter than that. And I know Hudson County. Uh, as a whole, you know, even anything along the water is hot. But yeah, I just say it's for whatever reason is it is super fire. hot. It's just uh, yeah. when when super hot markets it's cooled a little. It's well, cooled a little. I know that. Well, the ones when they when they get super hot, they also then are the ones to run the risk of, of going super cold, right? Like compared to well, when we're flipping houses out in you know, let's say South Jersey, even where not much of anything's going on, those prices the last few years didn't increase that much but they also won't fall that much a market like jersey city you get caught at on the wrong timing like you said you know those guys that did buy projects three months ago at, at 600 when they could buy them today at 400 are you know probably going to be hurting so it's just it's a volatile market and you know we're kind of on the other swing of that so i, I just you, you would have been in a much better position six months ago right now we were already in a housing recession but as far as I'm concerned, it pretty much hit bottom from where it was. It's, we're talking about, you know, a 50% drop or more. So. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll see. 
Yeah, take a look at it and see what you say. You know, I mean, okay. the best you can do, you know, Google Earth it or ride by or whatever you're going to do and just look at it and then uh, see what you think and, and make an offer. Sweet. I will uh, I'll definitely get back to you. And, I mean, typically the, the, the way I like to do it, if, if you're going to field a couple offers, is I, I like to come in last and just tell me what else you got. And if I could beat it, cool. If if I can't, you know, no skin off my back either. But Yeah, but that, that's hard for me to manage, right? And calls are going to be coming in over the next several days. Yeah, I, I could follow up with you. I just I just typically, like, after hearing your situation, and, and I would do the same thing if I were you, but if, if I give you my first number, now you have a number to shop around to everyone else that calls you up. So, well, I could do it this way then. <laughs> if you give me a number, and if somebody comes back with a different number, I'll tell you what that different number is. Okay, but, I won't even tell you who gave me the offer. Right, right. I'd rather you, you know, yeah. d- same thing. It's just, uh, you know, I I understand the game, and some people will give you offers. I've just been doing this long enough yeah. to know, that, you know, it's it's usually better for you and me if if we just kind of go towards the end, and you shoot me straight, and I could say if I could, you know, beat that other offer by. Buy an extra 5k or give you a, you know a bigger deposit or throw some money you know to your brother or whoever you know in the family might need it and try to win the deal that way yeah it's kind of like just this something yeah money get him out of there yeah. and go somewhere else because it's always know, tough like obviously start yeah i'm taking yeah. on all this risk like i want to buy the property as cheap as, as i can buy it for it realistically but i know you know you're sure. trying to get as much as you can for it as well so you know we'll, we'll probably meet somewhere in the middle and hopefully that number makes sense for the both of us well, so I don't, because listen, I got a dozen numbers that call, and, and, and this is a work phone, so I have like a million calls I do at work okay. as well. So the best thing I can say is so the number don't get buried and I lose it or don't remember it. Yeah. Uh, try me back mid next week. Okay. Do you have a cell phone that I, I could shoot you a text on uh, and maybe we could communicate yeah. if I have some simple well, questions? Is it. This okay. Is it. All right. This so I could text my, this number? My cell phone, but it's, yeah, it's a business okay. phone, but it's also a personal phone. Yeah, I'm yeah, I hear you. For, but, but I okay. do business through it, so. Okay, yeah, I'll uh, I'll shoot you a text too, just with with my name, my company, and just so you you know have an idea if if I give you another call and some questions might might come up when I'm uh, researching into the property. So if it's anything quick, I'll just shoot you a text message. Okay, sounds like a plan. All right, I will get back to you in the next uh, couple days. Very good. Have a good weekend. All right, thanks. Thanks, thanks Mike. Bye. See you.